So, um, we like to ask ourselves, and I, I had somebody ask this, but the point of struggling, basically I said, what is the point of going through all this effort to lose weight, to make myself do this, to not be allowed to eat certain things, to basically um, deny myself stuff? And I thought about it, and you know, the whole the whole point, what as a man, logically, the outcome is going to be you're really good at having less than what you're used to. But what's going to happen is that that's going to cultivate more mental bandwidth to go without, which will it'll lean you up, you'll lose weight, your hormones are going to change, and your body at a, a physical level will be more in tune with a different frequency because there's less fat on you, there's more strength and muscle, your brain is going to resonate at a different mental attitude and approach. When it has that daily challenge, when it has that outcome of hitting a wall and getting through it, either early in the day if you work out or late in the day if you work out, but within a 24 hour period, because this is for a lifetime, you will know that you're capable of more than the limit you have set every 24 hours every day that you do this and that's what's going to change is your mentality when challenge shows up you'll be ready so the limiting the weight the the eating less the physical exertion that what's changing is your mental capacity physically the body must follow but when you take control of your mind and say it doesn't matter what i feel this, this brain, I'm in control of my mind, and this is what this mind's going to do. And the body's the third layer, and it's forced to follow. So the best thing to do is to cut from food or quit or begin fasting. That is step number one. You break the tongue so that no more hyperpalatable foods, no issues like that arrive. And that is the beginning of self-mastery, okay? That's the purpose to all of this. That's the purpose to creating resistance. And it has to be intentional in a modern world. Peace.